Good evening once again. This is Sepeg Pro Design tutorial number three. Uh, it's clipping and matching road design to SBM. Uh, this is basically the continuation from tutorial number two that I've done before. This time I'm gonna clip that uh, as built. On, sorry, clip that uh, road design onto the SBM. Uh, basically, so uh, when this. Uh, the road design parameters as before, it's a 10 meter wide road, run grade was 10%. Uh, I'll be using a cut and fill angle of 45 degree. Actually, fill angle is a bit uh, flatter on a 36 degree and always uh, the cut angle steeper. But uh, for this uh, practice purpose, I'll just use 45 degree all throughout. There will be no branches. In the advanced tutorials, you might want to create the uh, benches. Functions used, um, I'll use the loader DTM file for design surface. I'll use expand segment to DTM and I'll use the clip by selected segment. So I'll start my spec. I'll put my road design as a default folder. Uh, this is the road. Uh, Bring in the road uh, center line that I created before. So this is the road center line that I created before. The DTM for the road, I'll bring it in. So basically, I haven't got the stockpiles, and but, but this is where the, my road is. This is my maintenance pad up here, and this is what my road looks like. I've got a fill area here, fill area here. But just for practice purposes, we'll just uh, go on and do it. Okay, now first up, I'll basically give the angles that I want the cut and fill to go by. So I'll give the angle as 45. So as that before. Okay, and then I'll load my DTM to the surface. Um, I'll just uh, select uh, this uh, DTM here, so I'll load it up, and then I'll apply, so it's in the, it's been loaded, okay I'll freeze this, okay I'll make this uh, road center line the active layer. Okay, actually I'll save it as a line piece. Okay, what I'll do is I'll expand segment to DTM. So I'll click that and then it goes to DTM. So I'll go apply. So this is basically what like just remember the string and make it uh, sorry the segment make it seven Slow, but save it on plan view. Okay, this is what it looks like. Save that. Make sure it doesn't overlap here. That's good. I'll just clean the boundary string or edit segment. Clean. Remove. To get point, apply that and then click on string 7. So it uh, deleted uh, 7 points here. It's good. Save it. Apply. Okay. I refresh that. Now we'll have to bring in my string file. 
what has been this is what I have can okay, now bring in my design center line design so what I'm gonna do is just clip out Sorry. For some reason, I just created this. Okay, I've got this string here. So what I'm gonna do is to click the S build and remove. So I go. Okay, so I go edit segment. So I run one green. By selected segment. Click uh, inside the boundary, apply, and select the segment. Cancel that, I will clip that out. So I save the screen as CLP3, just uh, design tutorial 3. I apply that. Okay, I'll take everything out. Press the button. I'll put it here. Bring the row design tree in again. I've clicked it here and I have to press the control button while I bring my design in. Now it has become one file. So I'll just save it. Uh, just make sure you select the this one here. Apply that. Okay. And then you save that. Just create a DDM to see how it looks like. Bring closer. So basically, we uh, build a road with a forty five degree cut and also with um, forty five degree fill. Uh, if the walls are too high, you can put uh, safety bands in. Yeah, and that's how it's gonna look like. To save that. Mm. Just close that. The variable file. I'll just the last one. I'll just finish off. I'll bring this one back in, just create a DTM, make it uh, string number DTM number 3 ID, I'll just save that, um, ok I want to clip that, uh, it's going to be subsets, uh, clip um, DDM with a screen and then I'll just apply so it basically clips the uh, outside out to save that got that and bring my road design tree in
Yeah, so basically, we have this row there. Sorry to show you how to do the volumes later. Cut and fill volumes. But this is it. I clip and match in the row design to the spill design. 